So this question says, what is the sum of all values of m that satisfy 2m squared minus 16m plus 8 is equal to 0? So I'm going to write this down, 2m squared minus 16m plus 8 equals 0. This is a simplified question, right? It's only a line and a half long. So I'm categorizing this in my mind as simplified, which means it helps me because I'm thinking of how do I simplify this before thinking of how do I solve this. So the first step in simplifying this would be to divide all of it by 2, which gives me m squared minus, uh, actually, divide that by 2 as well, m squared minus 8m plus 4 equals 0. And then I can figure out, well, how do I solve this m squared minus 8m plus 4 equals 0? I like, I like the quadratic formula for this. So hopefully you recall it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Hopefully that sounds familiar to you. In this case, a for us is 1, right? Because there's no number in front of the m squared. b is negative 8. It's there. And c is positive 4. It's there. So I'd end up with negative b would be positive 8, since b is already negative 8. So I have 8 plus or minus the square root b squared, negative 8 times negative 8 is 64, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4, all over 2a, which is just 2. So I'm ha I have 8 plus or minus square root 64 minus 16, because negative 4 times 1 times 4 is minus 16, all over 2. 64 minus 16 is 48. So I have 8 plus or minus the square root of 48, all divided by 2. The square root of 48 can be simplified, so let's do that over here. For root 48, I can break that into a perfect square of 16 times an imperfect square of 3. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 3 stays root 3, so that's 4 root 3. So this turns into 8 plus or minus 4 root 3 over 2. I can reduce this further by dividing everything by 2. So 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 8 4 times, 2 goes into 4 2 times. So what we're left with is 4 plus or minus 2 square root 3. And then the question asked me to find the sum of all the values of m that satisfy this. So if m, let's make some space over here, if m is equal to 4 plus or minus 2 root 3, that means that it's going to be 4 plus 2 root 3 as an answer, and I'm going to have 4 minus 2 root 3 as an answer and when I add those together right the sum of those 4 plus 4 is 8 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3 crosses out leaving me with 8 as my final answer